hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going to show you how to create an edible template that you could sell on Etsy for your digital store so this was a requested video many of you guys saw my previous template video and you guys wanted to know how do i create or how to create a template so i'm going to show you in this video so make sure that you watch all the way till the end. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe today. Don't forget to show me some love by liking this video and leaving a comment below if you learned something or any additional videos you would like me to possibly make for you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing you wanna do is um, once you already signed up for template, is go to design so you'll have a little button up here when you go to template it say design if you click on it it will take you to this actual window so i already had clicked on it prior to um doing this video so therefore that's why i'm here already so right here you'll be able to select you'll select file new and you'll be able to select what type of file you're going to be using you could do single double-sided book fold tent fold geo filter so this is for like snapchat and stuff like that or custom now if you're doing invitations um like the one that we're going to do today is the baptism invite i always recommend to start with the double side that gives the customer the option to go ahead and if they want to put like a pattern on the back side or they want to put um a photo additional photo or anything else they'll be able to do that and if they don't want to do that when they purchase from you all they will need to do is delete that page when they print it out and that's all. It's very simple. But I highly recommend always doing a double image or double sided in case the customer wants to go ahead and add something to the other side of the actual invite. Or if you as the seller want to add something on the other side for, for them. So let's go ahead and click on that one. So the file I'm doing today is 5 by 7 and here's my file right now if you wanted to add the back side you just click on back side and this will be the back side i'm just going to do the front side for this video because if not i'll be here forever now i do recommend using um canva sometimes because you could find images here if you need like a mock-up and also this one website this is one of my top websites that i use if you never heard of them it's called onsplash.com and they have beautiful images. If you type in wedding, these are all images that you could use. It doesn't require no attribution, so you don't have to worry about giving credit. But these are all images that you could use for your social media. You could use it for your Etsy shop. You could use it for um, Pinterest. You could use it for uh, mock-ups. You could pretty much do anything you want with these photos. No attributions are required. Obviously, you cannot sell them, but you could do you could use them for personal or commercial. Um, you could type in anything here. You could put toddler and it will give you pictures of just about everything that you're looking for. So today I'm going to be looking for a picture of a toddler because that's we're doing a baptism card where the buyer could put their picture of their little kid of boy or girl. So we're going to be looking through here to see if I find a good photo. I want a photo that is vertical because half of this template is going to be the photo here and the information on this side. So I'm looking for a photo that is vertical, which means up and down like this. That has a clear picture of a baby. Um, that would be a good photo for the mock-up. That's a mock-up that you could use as a sample for the customer. So I'm looking. Another place that I've looked for images is on Canva. So what I do is I also go in here, I create, I usually do the size that I'm working with. That way um, I don't find an image, when I size it, the image is like the right size for me. And I'll go to photos and I'll click on toddler and kind of go through them as well. So sometimes I'll find a picture on Canva, so most likely I'll find it on, on Splash. I find more pictures on this website than anything else. But right now, I am striking out. 
this one is cute but i want something different let's see so i'm not finding one here so let's go back to canva this one's cute kind of look through them oops let's see if i find this one's kind of cute let's see oh that's cute the little baby let's see that's a cute picture what i try to do is find a picture that has a white background like this one or just a picture of just the baby not too much color not too much distraction in the background then i kind of size it up like this and i double click on it and kind of put it in the middle this one will be a little cut off with a teddy bear and i, I play with it i until i find the one picture and this one is actually cute with this little boy make it big see if it fits my picture so that's kind of cute he's adorable so i think i'm gonna stick with this photo i like this one a lot this one's cute too actually so i like this one because it's no distraction it looks like a professional picture um it's very nice so i think i'm gonna use this one this is another good one here if you have a picture if you need one an name by for a little girl this is actually a really good one as well so i might save that one for later so we're going to use this one so i'm going to download this as a jpeg save the file i'm going to put it in my desktop for now and i'm going to go back to template and i'm going to add that picture to elements so i'm going to upload new element I'm going to drag the picture here and I'm going to call this, I usually do, if it's a baby picture, I just put baby and that's it. Just keep it very simple. I'm going to add it to template. So it's been added, it says you're added. If you go back to template, it's right there. So I'm going to click on the photo and hopefully it will add to the template so let's give it a few seconds it might be a delay so let me refresh it if that happens like it won't take the template just refresh it sometimes if there's like a disconnect or something happens it's happened to me a couple times so just refresh it so i just redid it again let's go to elements there goes the photo earlier wouldn't take for some reason I usually put it in the corner right here and I'm going to make it larger. There you go. And here we go. So I'm going to put it right there. That's pretty in the middle for me. You don't want to distort the image. So that's actually pretty good right there. Now you have the option that you could change the background and put a background as well if you wanted to. I think I am, but I'm going to wait till the end. I'm going to I'm going to work on the verbatim first. So I'm going to go here, go to text. I'm going to add text. I'm going to put it right up here. And I'm going to say, please join us for, I'll make this in big letters. I mean, capitalize. Please join us for the, and then I'm going to make this smaller in font. I'm going to stretch this out. And I'm going to take this and choose a different font. So here you have the option to change the font. Once the customer buys this file from you, they also have the option to change the font to whatever they want, which is really nice. I'm going to make it bold so it can stand out a little bit. And I'll make this 15. So I think that's cute. Please join us for the, and then I'm going to do in bigger letters, baptism. So I'm going to write the word baptism, or you could do Christianing, depending on what you want to do. You could do a listing for baptism and a listing for Christianing. And you got two different, um, templates. So baptism, I kind of like that, but I want something maybe a little cursive. Let's see. So just play with this. See, see what you think looks good. What kind of stands out for you. Um, I kind of like that one there. 
So I'm going to make this an even 40 for now. Put this up a little bit. I'm going to put that there. Then I'm going to say, please join us for a baptism. Okay. Let me see what else I'm going to put. I'm trying to think of, of our son. So let's put that. So sometimes what I do is if you click on the actual text that you were working on, if you click here, it makes a copy of it. That way I don't have to put the text again, find it and resize it. So I'm going to put here, please join us for the baptism of our son. And I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to take this one. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to put a name. You can make up any name, any name you want. I'm going to put Michael um, Tom, Thompson, I guess. That's a really made up name. Okay. I'm going to try to put it right here in the middle. So that means I'm going to have to reduce the font size. And then I'm going to reduce this one so it can match the name. That way one is not as big as the other. So not bigger than the other. So there you go. Please join us for the baptism of our son, Michael Thompson. Okay. Now I'm going to put like the date. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to add text and I'm going to say December and make this a different font than the original two that we used. So let's see how this one will look. Eh, don't care for that one too much. Oh, that one's cute. Okay. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to redo this to 20. So I'm going to put this one here. If you go to elements and you go here, H line is a horizontal line. V line is a vertical line. So I'm going to do vertical. And I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. If you touch it, if you hover on top of it, you can actually change the width of the stroke. You can make it a little thicker. So I'm going to make it that thick. And I'm going to put this right here. And then I'm going to duplicate this and put another one. So I'm going to put the date. I'm going to duplicate the December. And I'm going to say the baptism is December 5th. Let's do double digits, 10. And I'm going to put that here. And then next to it, I'm going to put the, the time. So let's go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm going to make the time, let's say, 12 p.m. This font, the tricky part about this one that I, I'm starting not to like is that when you do the numbers, the numbers are smaller. But when you do the letters, the letters are bigger. So for me, it throws me off. So I'm going to change the whole font because of that. Because I want it to be all the same size. That's the only reason why I'm changing it. So I'm going to go to up here. Let's see. I'm going to pick this one here. Yeah, that's better. Now it's all one size. I'm going to do the same for all of it. I'm just going to change it to that font. Um, it's called Sincel. That's the one I'm using now. And I'm going to change this one as well. So they could all match. Okay. All right. So now... I'm going to move this a little bit more up and try to make it as even as possible. It will give you those little grid lines and that helps you to make sure that you are, it's like a ruler, make sure that you are even. And then now it's a little bit too close to the end, to the edge. So now I'm going to try to move it to the side. Okay, so here we go. That looks good. So now I'm going to put the detail, like the address. You pretty much put anything you want. I'm going to put the detail of the address. So I'm going to put, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to write it here, which you could also do um, if you wanted to. You could go to text, add paragraph, and this will write out a paragraph. What I do before I start writing it out, I stretch it out where I want the wording to stop. 
and then I go pick the font that I want. So I want to stick with um, the one that I originally started, which is this one here. It's, I think it starts with a P. Maybe not. Let's see. Okay. Oh, here it is. Alrighty. So I'm going to put first Baptist Church. I'm just making this up. 201 North Main Street, Chicago. I'm in Chicago, so that's why I'm using Chicago. 60101. And then I'm going to say, um, kindly reply to Megan by November 20th at, and I'll put this person's number. This is a fake number. Three one two is in area code in Chicago. I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you could kind of do it like that when you're typing numbers. Um, once you do this, I'm gonna put here reception to follow. So I'm gonna do that with this with this font. So I'm gonna copy it again. I'm gonna put it in the bottom. I'm gonna put reception to follow. Obviously, we're going to have to reduce the size of this. It's a little bit too big. So, I'm going to make this a 15, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's a good one. I misspelled this. So, follow. All right. I'm going to slant this. And I'm going to make this maybe a little bigger. So, stretch it out a little bit right there. So, basically, you're pretty much done with the actual template right now. You could sell it how it is like this, or you could keep playing with it and kind of make it a little bit more unique if you wanted to. You could change the background. So you could go here and you could pick one of these if you wanted to. And you could play with it, see what kind of goes with this template. This is a pretty gold one. Um, and it kind of goes with the photo and the little boy has like real pretty gold hair. You could go darker if you wanted to. If you go this dark, then I would suggest changing the font white. Um, this is a nice color here, this brown. So I think I'm gonna stick with the brown. I kinda like the brown. Well, I don't know if it's brown, it's gray. You could also pick solid colors if you wanted to, which they don't look bad at all either. Some look better than others. I think that color looks good. If you wanted a, a specific color, you could just type in the the code right here or you could just play with this right here and kind of see um, where you want to go and kind of like this as well so then I'm gonna just change the colors to show you guys how easy it is the font you could do white if you wanted to um, it does look nice in white and blue I think the black kind of stands out a little bit more with this type of light blue um, you could, you know, ch definitely change this to a dark blue if you wanted to. Just to kind of give it some contrast and make it a little bit different. Some people change the, the date to a different color. I usually like to do like three or four pieces that are a different color. But this is how you create an uh, edible template that you could sell on Etsy. And you could upload this, this whole image here to your XE as a mock-up. And then when the customer purchases it, they'll buy the file and they're able to go in here and edit and they're able to remove the photo and add their own photo. They're able to make it smaller. They're able to remove the entire photo if they want. They're able to add a backside. So if they wanted to add a whole entire photo here or do two photos here, they could do whatever they want. They could change the background color. They could change the font size. They could pretty much do um, any changes that they need to do. But this is how simple it is. So I wanted to show you guys um, an easy way to do an edible template file. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to learn about these type of videos or anything additional um, using template, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching.